Shalom, brethren. I would like to thank Brother Andrew Peary for giving me an opportunity to give an eulogy of my late pastor, Brother Richard Gunn. Brother Gunn had been my uncle, pastor, spiritual father, apostle and friend. I have been with him since the beginning of his ministry, grew up with him over the years, went through the various church conflicts and separations, experienced the spiritual warfare both locally and his apostolic ministry. I saw his ministry grew from a manual cycle styling machine to uploading sermons onto the website. He was always trying to balance time for his family, his congregation and the overseas needs. When his ministry had just started and the church coffer was always zero, he took on part-time jobs to supplement his small Levite tent. His clothes were bought from the thrift stores or from donated ones. Later on, when the church fund improved, he refused to increase his Levite tent as advice by the elders of the church to combat inflation. He was indeed a very humble and sincere minister, a man of the highest integrity. It was not easy to stand for the truth, especially teaching and laying the foundations for the church of God, fighting all the false apostles who twisted and lied without any fear for God. In fact, the amount of challenges, responsibilities and trials that he needed to carry for his family, local assembly and overseas brethren were tremendous. I am grounded in the word because of his ministry. I am glad that through his ministry, God has taught and raised able ministers to continue God's plan for his bride. Words would never be able to describe Paragon's love for the church and all his overseas families. He had suffered much pain in his last days, yet his faith in our Lord Jesus Christ did not waver. His last advice to us was to follow the ark, to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. He had fought the good fight, he had finished the race, he, has, he had kept the faith. One thing I'm very sure is Bragan is standing on the rostrum receiving the first prize as shared by him of his dream. The legacy he had left behind would be continued by the true ministers of this faith. Amen.